everybody, it's Josh from CollectionDX.com here with another review. This time it's the 52 Toys Deep One. These are the guys who make Beast Box and all their toys come in cubes. Before I get into the toy, I want to just point out that the packaging is awesome. And this illustration is done by our friends at Mechazone. So, as you can see, uh, it is a killer illustration of the mech and also inside there is a uh, actually comes down with diagram, diagram, huh? so you could you know if you wanted to pose it in front of this kind of cool so these are my first mega box toys and i actually thought they were spring loaded at first and they're they're not spring loaded but these um two kind of boxes and transform into individual submarines and then combine into a mech. These containers are really cool because they stack, you know, like I showed you, but they also lock in from side to side. So if you have a lot of these, you can have a giant display of cubes. And anytime you're feeling like, oh, I wish I had a little cube to play with, boom, there's your mega box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, show you how to transform each of these from their box form to their individual ship form, and then to their combined formed, and yeah, there'll be a lot of things to see. So we're gonna get started with that now. So each time that I transform these, I find a, like another connection point or another thing to make it a little easier to go back into its box form. So maybe at the end, I'll show you how to, how to get it back into box form, because it's not always intuitive. So there are two units here, monkfish and lobster. So this is monkfish. Uh, to start with the monkfish, the first thing we do is uh, undo these little things in the back. I'm gonna pull these out and there's little uh, lights here. I'm gonna pop those lights up. Then we separate these. They're connected by the teeth there. And we're gonna bring these arms down. Uh, you take these arms out and you can unfold the arms from here. And uh, essentially we're going to kind of rotate this around like so, and then again, and then in. So the arms look like this. And then we kind of bring these again, we rotate that around, and we kind of bring those feet together. I don't say kind of, you just do, you bring those together. And you can flip the toes up a bit, like so. We're gonna bring these in around bring these tabs under and we're going to do a little maneuver here with these joints uh, see the gray joint there we're going to kind of bring it around so it's so this whole unit ends up being closer okay and then these two i'm going to move the legs out of the way just so you can see what's going on here there is a little tab and there's locked together so that's together now, I'll tell you that this is the most fragile, not fragile, but it's not very secure, this connection. So be prepared for that to pop out a bunch of times. And essentially, once that's done, bring the legs around. And they kind of, see, they've just popped out. It, it gets a bit frustrating, right, unfortunately. So you're going to do that for a bit till you get this all in the right position. Okay. And then these little arms come down. And then these little arms come down. And then you're gonna fiddle with this whole section for about 20 minutes until it looks good. Here's a section that I want you to see. See, there's a, it's like a channel in there for the legs to come down. Like make sure those come down, right? So they're lower. And then you can straighten them out farther. Try to get them as straight as you can. Again, it's not super precise, and you can see, like, everything kind of... This should be, like, tabs to here, and this should be tabs to lock it in back. And you don't have tabs. There's tabs everywhere else, just not there. So your finished um, monkfish submersible is going to look something like this. Again, like, it, it's just kind of... You get it close enough, and then you forget about it. But the arms move. These little arms move. The, uh, there's the, the claw actually opens on these arms, but it's as a floating thing. There's no like wheels, right? It just sort of is. 
The lobster is easier, but there's another weird part about it, and I'll show you that in a minute. Again, there's tabs uh, in here, so make sure you separate those tabs. There's also tabs that's connecting here, so separate those tabs. These come out, and this comes down. You can flip them back up now. So it's like a little basket, okay? This whole section comes out, and then this section goes in until it clicks. Now you see this little, these tabs on the side, these line up and click in here. The rule of thumb here is you want the white parts to be out and up. Okay, so you flip that around and then you rotate this section like that. And that is basically the lobster. Is it, you know, that's pretty much it for the lobster. So there's a combination into Deep One, and Deep One is, think of Deep One as an idea rather than a, a form, right? So there's a few different ways, you could, there's no wrong way to connect the two, but there's, you know, basically this becomes the top half, this becomes the bottom half. But there's so many different ways you can do it. The, the art on the package isn't the same as the mode shown in the instructions. So there's actually two different modes and you can go package mode or instruction booklet mode. And that's really made possible by uh, the connection points. There's, there's two different points. So depending on what kind of mode you do, it's what point you use. And then you can even do more after that, but let's just, let's start with the essentials here to get into that mode. We're gonna undo that crap we did here and put this back up. And there's a few, again, just move things out of the way. It's gonna be a pain in the ass for a little bit because things are gonna be in your way. There's a little uh, tab in here. And it's actually, if you can see it, there's a little tab right under there. And that tab is where, you know, that part goes in. You close these up. And for these, you just uh, gonna bring them in like so. All right. See, I'm, I'm re undoing this, the position of those joints there. So now I have a little more freedom, it's almost like wings now. And then now we have the the legs, which, will, which are now gonna become arms. I'm gonna turn those around. These, both these white and purple rings rotate around. And here's the, the top part. Now this top section is pretty much the same, regardless of which method you use to combine it. This part alters a little bit. So we have the lobster, okay? And you're gonna see right away kind of what we're going for here with the legs, right? So you can turn that around if you want to. Depends on which way you like it. I think that's the actual way. Now the feet are interesting because they separate like that. And then this comes around and goes flat. There's a little ankle motion there, which is nice. So you get a good, you know, range of motion. Flip up the little connector. Right. And then you kind of have the, the bottom unit. Um, there's a few different things you can do with this piece. So once you're in this mode, you can just turn this all around. Turn it all around. Oop, this tip tubbing too many joints. Turn this part around, okay. And then you connect these two. So this mode is the the mode for the instructions. Obviously you can tweak it however you want to make your iteration, but if you're gonna go by the instructions, this is it. Obviously there's a ton of great articulation here with the knees, you get a lot, uh, ankles, uh, arms rotate, bend, swivel, claws grab. But there's another little secret in here that's kind of cool, is this part opens up. Actually, it goes out of the way a little bit. That opens up and you can pull this out. And there's a room in there, there's a little cockpit. And the, it actually pulls out. And the cockpit, I believe, is compatible with a Diaclone Dianaut figure. Actually, let's find that out. Will he fit? Yeah, he fits. Will really he fit with the thing closed? Yep, cool, so it's Diaclone driver compatible. And that's with both cockpits. The second cockpit bat here. Guy will just drop right in. 
Get in there. Yeah, so he fits. If he fits, he sits. And he's very dynamic. I mean, look at that pose. And you can give him a little rotation. Right? That's kind of spectacular. So let's do the second version. So the main difference with the box pose, disconnect, and then connect the back like that. And then you can bring these around. So the white side is out. Okay. And then do it again here. In the back, you disconnect these tabs. Make sure you always disconnect these tabs because you can see I put a little stress on the tab there by accident. That's my bad. Okay. And can bring those around. Bring this down and just kind of, they just sort of rest here on the side. Oh, I'm gonna close up the little gate for those dudes. There you go. Uh, this has been Josh from CollectionDX.com. Thanks for watching. Please consider joining our Patreon to help create more content and keep the site alive. Hosting is not free. And we have a rather large site with 20 years of content that, you know, we'd like to keep up for all of you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I guess I haven't said that in a while. See you next time.